Hello there, Jeff here with the Big Shooterist Channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today, today's your lucky day, almost as much as it is my lucky day, because I stopped in to see Rob at RPS Tactical. Now, the intention of my day was to continue working on the Ghost Knife project. We just finished the Ghost Knife Micro, and we needed a sheath for it. So we came in, we're gonna show you some video. Rob made an awesome sheath for the micro as well as for the large tool that we built first and then the day all went off key from there he taught me about all kinds of other products that he makes and I'm gonna give you a quick overview and then it's really gonna be your lucky day too because you're gonna to get to see everything I've seen today stick around RPS Tactical makes all kinds of things and we're going to start out by showing you some knife sheaths uh, that he makes for us and the process of how he does it. Even though they make all kinds of things, it's the way that he makes them that makes them special. The quality is unbelievable. Everything is done by hand. It's all made in the USA. There are no assembly line sweatshops where, where there are people making things that don't understand them. It's Rob making them. He understands it, and he knows what it takes to put that little special uh, edge on the products that you and I use, that he uses too, uh, that are so important, and separate the mass-produced things from the hand-built things. So I'm going to throw it to Rob, and to get started, he's going to explain a little bit about what we're doing building sheaths for these knives with the products that we're using and the way that he does it. Hey guys, my name is Rob Boulay. My company is RPS Tactical. I've been in business for about five years now, and uh, Jeff came in today to have some custom sheaths made. Um, we did one for him already. This was a couple weeks back, and it came out all right. Um, but we wanted to do another spin on it with his micro knife. And this right here is going to be quick accessible to your belt. Um, what we made it out of is .08 Kydex, um, which is a, a durable, uh, but not too heavy, of a Kydex. Um, took a little bit of thinking on designing the form of it to make it well. It is friction fit. It's designed so that way the blade's ready for you. Um, blade, as you're pulling. You're able to do the clip version. We're trying to think about what would work best. Um, or loop and black and coyote tan are the two colors that we ended up uh, settling on. And there are other colors that we can do because I'm a custom shop and I build custom gear. Uh, that's most of it. To kind of go over maybe some of the smaller stuff on this, <clears throat> we uh, formed it in a vacuum press. And you'll see footage of the vacuum press that we had. And riveted it with um, aluminum um, iodized rivets, steel hardware for screws, which give the strength. On the back here, we also have it so that's flexible with some grommets. Um, and the same going with the other. It's just got all steel hardware, um, aluminum rivets and one directional pull for your tab. So although Jeff came in for just a sheath, I had a little surprise for him and it was a bunch of different gear. Specifically our RPS Tactical Adaptive Holster which is this that I have here. We made this custom for his car uh, CW9. This one right here is set up with inside the waist mounts but it's adaptive holster because you can change your mounts. He's going to be getting with it some belt mounts. Easy, you just take out your screws, you put these mounts on, you're good to go with your belt. It's got a friction retention, it holds on, and it's not going to drop out. So we made that for him. Uh, explain some of the materials we use in it. The leather we use is 10 ounce cowhide. Um, it's quality cowhide. It's going to last. 
we do printing of our RPS Tactical logo into it, along with the American flag, because we're proud to be a American-based company making American products. All the stuff here that we have, we try to always use American products. Like we explained, when I came here this morning, the idea was to, uh, to have a sheath made for the micro version of the ghost knife, and we did. We actually have a couple different versions of it, and I couldn't be more pleased. They came out unbelievable, and I can't wait to give them some use in the field. Uh, I didn't know that we were going to be working on uh, pistol holsters as well, but he's turning me into a believer uh, for that type of carry, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to utilize it a lot. I'm going to get used to it, and then I'll let you know how it's working out for me. Now, I've been amazed watching these things made. Uh, I can't emphasize how much hands-on uh, is necessary to make this stuff. From starting with a big piece of leather and, uh, and, and running a 10-ton a, a press. 10-ton press? 20-ton press? 20-ton. All right. 20-ton press. From running a 20-ton press uh, to actually cut the shape of the leather, uh, the rough cut, he does all the final, you know, fine-tuning by hand, to putting the kydex in the oven, heating it up to, I'm not going to tell you the special proprietary secret temperature, but, but we get it to the right temperature, uh, mold it around the piece, put it in a vacuum format so it's absolutely snug, made for that gun. Uh, you can't get any more custom than this. If you've got something that has stitching in it, um, I showed you his sewing machine, but that's him. He is a sewing machine. All this stuff is stitched by hand. Uh, all the things are ground by hand, everything is polished and shaped by hand. Uh, Rob's making what, what is going to potentially save your backside. And I don't know about you, but I know it's nice to have a gun guy working on something that realizes how important this equipment is to other gun guys. I think that's really, really, really important. From the stitching to the riveting by hand to uh, actually tweaking the Kydex with a heat gun and making sure that everything is fit uh, in there properly uh, like he would carry it uh, before it goes out the door. So this is this is far as far away from assembly line manufacturing as you can get, but with the quality that you would expect, uh, or quality you could hope to expect. It's unbelievably high quality. Now, even though everything is this custom, uh, RPS keeps a, a huge inventory in of all of the common firearms uh, that, that people typically ask about. They're not going to make them for some off-the-wall race gun that only three of them in the world exist. He will if you bring it in, yeah. um, but it doesn't. it's not going to be here in stock. But if you want this kind of quality uh, that we're showing you on, on my guns, on your gun, he, he's got it right here in stock for you where the chances are pretty good. So he, even though it's 100% it's custom made, he's making them anytime he has extra time so you don't have to send your gun in or, uh, or fly in to get one made for you. So that's a really cool benefit too. You get custom quality manufacturing with a piece that you can actually just pick up the phone or just order online. Yeah, to, to add to that, one thing um, that you would know that we actually hand fit it, try it out, make sure that it's working before we just push it out to you, would be if you look at a lot of our holsters or our gear, you'll see some marks where we've put it in and out a few times. So it's, it's going to come to you on the outside looking good. The inside is going to show a small amount of wear, just where you know that something's been pushed in and out. So you can, you know, go on the fact of, hey, they checked it, they know it's good. We don't send out stuff that's flawed that's going to catch up because it could be life or death for you. I don't know about you, but I'll take quality control over a nice shiny interior surface on something that's important for me to have that works. So I'm stoked. We've got a lot of really cool other things to show you, from plate carriers to uh, body armor to uh, pouches and things that he hasn't even shown me yet because I'm already overloaded. I can't, I can't absorb any more. I've had enough for today. But we're going to take it uh, out on the range. We're going to show it to you uh, being used uh, real world, not just in a static environment. And, uh, and then we'll evaluate it. We'll show you what's available. But there are some really, really cool offerings there. So I hope you liked the video. If you did, please click like, subscribe to the channel, uh, share it with all of your friends in your vast social media universe. Check us out on Full30.com and on YouTube. And check out RPS Tactical at... It's RPSTactical.com. working on the website, so there'll be a better website coming. 
Um, for a lot of great photos, uh, look up RPS Tactical hyphen custom accessories on Facebook. Um, he'll have a link to that and you can see just tons of photos and some videos of our gear. Good stuff. Handmade, handmade, one of a kind custom equipment that you can order over the phone. How cool is that? Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, have fun and be safe. How's that? Good. All right.